What's up, guys? Um, I'm just here to do a quick video, maybe inspire a few of you. So, I don't know, if you look back on my YouTube, you can see a lot of my old videos. And a lot of my old videos look like this guy right here. This was when I was about 220 pounds-ish, mid-high school. This is where I'm at now, about 185, 180. And then this was my peak of 250 pounds as I was... Uh, senior turning into a 19 year old somewhere around there i let myself go i've been i went to the gym throughout all high school but i never really hit it like i wanted to lose weight until i got out of high school which is dumb of me but uh hopefully i can inspire you a few of you guys here and if you have any questions feel free to throw them in the comments but uh so i wanted to start out this is like i don't take many pictures obviously like uh, yeah, I don't take many pictures, but if you look back on some of my older videos, you can see what I used to kind of like look like. Of course, this is kind of like before the puberty stage, but I mean, mainly what I'm talking about here is the weight kind of thing, because I was about 220 right here, and then I was in wrestling senior year, and then I went up. I was in the heavyweight class on the wrestling team, and uh, after that, I just wanted to lose weight, so first of all, a few of you guys might want to ask how I lost the weight, so... I've been going to the gym for a long time, all throughout high school, kind of a deal, and uh, instead of, like, working on my strength all the time, I, uh, when I was about 250, what I would do at the gym is basically I'd go bench, you know, go just do PR kind of type stuff, you know, I wanted to lift the most weight that I ever could, and I wanted to be able to rep out, you know, a stupid amount of weight on my chest. That was my goal. And then I changed it up. I started dieting better. And then I also changed my workout style. So instead of working for like heavy weights, I just superset it every time I went to the gym. I, I'd start out with cardio for like 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes of warm up cardio because it's uh, I believe it's not that good of a thing to do too much cardio in the beginning because then you wear yourself out for when you actually have to work out. So I do like a 10 minute warm up, get like my body moving flowing and all that and then i would go do like a superset so say it was like i'll just make it easy like if i'm doing chest then i would do like a set of something with chest you know some bench type or flies so i do a set of bench let's say and then i'd go and then do a set of back with almost like no rest you know you work you kind of figure out where you're supposed to or where you should be at but uh so yeah i did put i did push pull always i'd work opposites and i just superset all the time and I cons like consistently was just tiring myself out and going for more reps instead of uh, maxing out on some um, maxing out on some heavy weights. So right here, I don't, I can't honestly, I can't really remember what my PRs were, but they're way higher than they are right now. If you asked me to go bench as much as I could, like I haven't PR'd in a while, like I've still been doing that. I kind of like it. Like ever since I lost weight, I've been able to throw my body around. Like at the 250, imagine this guy right here doing pull-ups. Pull-ups, I've never touched a pull-up bar right here. Never. And when I started losing weight, you know, one day I was at the gym. You know, I was like 200 pounds. I don't know. And I just walked up to the, it was at like almost the end of my work. And I was like, I'm going to see if I can do a pull-up. And I just flew up. It was ridiculous. And ever since like that moment, I've liked to be able to like throw my body weight around. So instead of like doing um a bunch of pr stuff like i did here i did supersets and i worked on reps like now i can do more pull-ups more push-ups more sit-ups more leg raises you know more body weight type stuff but i can't max out as much as i used to be able to i know when you lose weight you know you lose some of the muscle i don't think i necessarily lost as much of a I lost type 2 muscle, which is, okay, if you don't know what the type 1 and type 2 muscles are, okay, I might be wrong on this. Type 1, I believe, is your, like, uh, oh my god, oh my god, endurance, kind of like endurance, so like, your type 1 muscle is allowing you to do 40 push-ups straight, but your type 2 muscle is allowing you to bench 250 pounds once. So the type two allows you to just push a lot of weight for small reps. And the type one is like a more condensed under muscle kind of, I don't, I don't know a ton, but I know enough to kind of keep myself at least a little knowledge. 
So I lost a lot of like type two strength muscle, but I feel like I gained a ton of endurance type muscle. I can do so much more like reps. I don't know. I could do I can do a lot more reps and mess around with my body. I mean, I lost a lot of weight, but I don't know. It really just encouraged me to uh, do more body weight stuff. So that's what I've been doing. And I feel like that's really working out for me when it comes to weight loss. Uh, working on strength all the time and like how I used to work out, I wasn't losing weight. I mean, it could have been my diet. I don't really remember my diet back then. It couldn't have been that good. I was eating high school food and all that crap. Now my diet's like, I just eat less. I, I don't eat like crazy good, but I eat less. And uh, I just wanted to throw this guy, throw this out here for some inspiration. Because like I said, I worked out throughout my whole high school and this is what it got me. I went from here to here. I mean, I got a lot stronger. At this point, I could bench at least 250. At least 250, which was my weight. But, I mean, I don't look strong at all. But, I mean, I could bench at least, like, 250. I've been, I was working out from, like, this point to this point. And, and I did wrestling and all that. But uh, when I really started to do in this supersetting and I just started eating less, honestly, the body fit, the body fat just melted off me i would i barely remember being at like the 230 to 210 range i feel like those 20 pounds literally just kind of like fell off and then i weighed myself another day and i realized i was like 190 210 in there like a, a lot of this weight just kind of fell off like butter so my advice to you guys if you're kind of stuck and you think you've been working out a long time change up your style and eat less because it worked a lot for me. Just do a lot more supersetting. Warm up with a little cardio. And just kind of like. Just continue to superset. And um, if you're worried about like. I mean 250 and I was 19. I lost this weight in like a year. year and a half. It didn't take that long. A year to lose 70 pounds. A little over a year. I mean that's pretty good for. I mean that's less than. That's like 8. 6, six to 8 pounds a month or something. I'm not doing the math. But that's a pretty healthy range, I think, from what I know. But uh, the only thing that's stuck, I don't really have much extra skin or anything. I mean, I still got fat. I could probably lose another 10 pounds or, like, gain muscle and then lose weight. I don't want to be a skinny little fucking... Uh, I don't want to be really skinny. I'm sorry <laughs> if I insulted anybody. I just don't really want to be super skinny, obviously. If I've been here and here, I'd like to... I think 180 is a good weight. I just need to gain more muscle at this point. But the only thing that uh, sticks to me is... Uh, stretch marks. I got stretch marks. Just uh, I don't know if you guys can see them. Like for example, yeah, you kind of can see these. There's stretch marks all over this, but honestly, they they're kind of hidden. I got them all along the bottom. You can see some of them popping up here, and then on the shoulders. Those are the only things that stuck. I don't have a bunch of flappy skin or anything. I don't have any bubbly skin anywhere. It all pretty much tighten back up for me at least i think that's because i did it more of a healthy way and i uh i'm assuming at least i did it more of a healthy way so that was the only problem because i, I ran into someone one time and they recognized me and he was talking to me because he wanted to lose weight as well and he was that was the one thing he was worried about when he ran into me is he was wondering how i looked after he didn't want to have his whole because i've seen people where they lose the weight and they their stomach like bubbles almost like like the all the excess skin didn't tighten back up and i think that's because you lose it too fast or maybe you're just you're getting to the age where your body can't bounce back like it used to but i'm not I, i'm not sure exactly but yeah that's the only problems i had and i lost in about a year year and a half and it was 70 pounds so i just wanted to throw this out here i mean i'm trying to start youtube again anyway and if you go check out my other videos you're gonna think that's not even me so, I just wanted to make this video, maybe inspire a few people, and then also to just, oh, sorry, uh, to just fill you guys in a little bit on me. I mean, I have been off YouTube for a long time, so, but I'd love to get back into it, and that's what I'm trying to do right now, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope I uh, inspire some of you. If you have any questions, like, I know I missed probably a ton of stuff, but, yeah, if you have any questions feel free to ask tips any tips i got maybe a big thing that helped me i stopped eating before bed uh i used to eat before bed every night cereal or something stupid don't do that your body doesn't burn much when you're sleeping other than that yeah just ask me some questions i don't have super a lot of tips i don't know a super lot but i mean 
I've been going to the gym for a few years now. I may not look it. I've taken my fair share of breaks, and I mean, I don't eat like crazy healthy, but at least, I don't know. Yeah, just leave me any questions and anything, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you. Hasta la vista.